Hey YouTube, it's Dylan again. And it has been three months on testosterone already. I wanna be a richer man. I never thought it would actually move that fast and you hear other people on YouTube saying, oh yeah, it's been three months. But it has been. Uh, today's December 15th and December 9th was my three months on tea already. Holy crap. Changes that I didn't mention on my first month mark, not much has changed. Um, I feel like my voice now is actually becoming a lot more noticeable uh, for me personally. And other people have commented because at first I thought maybe it was just in my head. But especially people that don't see me as frequently have commented and I've been getting more voice cracks again. It's semi-settled for now, maybe because I've figured out how to speak properly without and I always go, wee! Um, <laughs> but other than that, a lot of hair everywhere. Um, like, especially on my arm here, I'm getting darker hairs um, closing into the inside of my arm, which if you pay attention, like, especially cis women and pretty trans guys, they often don't have this line of hair because this underside is completely naked most of the time, but now my hair is filling in closer to the middle uh, underside of my arm, if that makes any sense. My stomach hair is as hairy as ever, and my acne has become even worse. So it's all over my back and front too. My face currently isn't too bad, and I've been trying to get into a better habit of using special like clean cloths. Um, but especially if you're dealing with dysphoria, uh, just <laughs> dealing with your body is difficult and I'm trying to overcome that and it's not the easiest thing, that, the thing I've done but I think I just need to get in the habit of it. I did for a while uh, when my testosterone was drying, I just, I have those little, I don't know, they're like makeup removers except they're, they're specifically for face cleaning and acne. Um, and then like wipe myself down, but also now that it's all over my back, it's it's pretty hard to reach it by myself. So uh, I've had my boyfriend help me out um, a little bit more because especially like this area right here, who's gonna reach that? Not me. Um, maybe maybe someone with really flexible arms, which is not me. Feel like I have also gained uh, muscle mass. Uh, like it's not it's dramatically big, and I've been lifting um, Christmas trees at work. It's haven't been working out, but I feel like they look bigger, and also my shoulders are broader. Maybe also my confidence. I'm standing up taller again. Um, but I think it might have been something to do with the testosterone that now. You know, I left a few Christmas trees at work and, ooh, I actually have a little bit of results from that versus before, you know. I did the, day, the, sa the same stuff, but didn't have anything to show for. Um, I also feel like my strength is actually bigger. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it. But I feel like I can actually lift more already, which is interesting because, you know, I think... Uh, there's not really a difference between uh, people powered by estrogen and testosterone with lifting power for the most part like if you don't do anything obviously if you're gonna bulk up as a person with testosterone like, you're gonna get more gains that's just how it is but I feel even now just a little bit on testosterone I'm just slightly stronger I'm still weak and I can't lift much of a fireplace <laughs> uh, yet alone, you know, something super ha heavy, but I can lift and carry slightly more, which is cool. Maybe that's just a little bit more endurance that my body is giving me. Uh, my facial hair has actually gotten more. I have a little bit of like goat, goatee, well, maybe just goatee. Uh, and then there's some small dark hairs coming in right here. So this is a month of more of facial hair, which isn't a lot, obviously, but it's a beginning. And 
uh, people have commented on it and like, ah, this is so exciting. And I think it's cool too, especially because the blonde hair up here, uh, the ends of it are becoming dark too, which I thought I was just going to have a, you know, blonde beard. We'll see how my facial hair shows up. And, but you know, a little bit dark hair, that's, I'm excited for that. Um, better than just being completely blonde because if you, if I have blonde facial hair, then it's hard to see and then what's even the point of having it around. Um, my patience is not good and I don't know if that's because everyone's irritating or if it's the hormones, but I think it's partially to do with the hormones. I feel like I'm 13, 14 again, except this time I have this issue that I can think rationally and think, whoa, there's no way you should be reacting like this, you know, use your senses, breathe, but at the same time I can't, it's like, ah, I am ready to freak out and punch a pillow or wall or something, which I feel was easier <laughs> when I was just a teenager because I didn't know any better and I would freak out, but that's because I didn't know any better, but now I do. I've been through this and I still really can't stop it. So I think that will need some practice on my part. It's also Christmas season. I work somewhat in retail and my mom also says that sometimes makes people hate Christmas and I don't hate Christmas, but it's all draining on and everyone is irritating everywhere. So I think it's Christmas time stress mixed with um, testosterone and hormones battling and all of that. But anyways, uh, that's most of the changes I've noticed. My headaches aren't really there anymore, uh, so that's good. I also saw the endocrinologist on Tuesday, so two days ago, and I saw him for two minutes um, because they had a resident again, and I talked to someone else who always used to see an endocrinologist and they're like, yeah, there's always residents. So I basically informed <laughs> the resident on stuff and she said, I feel kind of stupid talking to you because you know your stuff. Like, well, I'm happy to help teach them, but uh, I feel like she asked kind of some questions that weren't necessary. Like, I'm not a person to get offended and I wasn't offended or anything. It was just, she wanted to know my plans for all the surgeries but then didn't know the terms, which is, I guess, fine, but if you're covering for, like, trans-specific endocrinologists, you should probably know basic terms like top and bottom surgery, uh, especially because I don't want to go into details with you about that, and also the changes, and I'm like, well, the regions have grown, and, like, because I, I didn't know how familiar she was with stuff, she just wanted to know all my effects and everything. But they went through my blood work. My T is at 9.5 right now. Uh, regular cis male range is apparently between 10 and 30, which is quite a range, and they said that too. Um, and that, uh, when I did talk to Endo, he said, that's probably also because I didn't take the testosterone before I took the blood test. And next time to take it, take the testosterone about four hours before with the gel. Um, which I wasn't told to do and like he says yeah you're probably in the range and it's also we're slowly getting you up there they don't expect you to be right in the range right away um, hemoglobins are fine um, so I'm I still have testosterone they didn't take it away that's good and they also weighed me and I am now at 143 pounds um, said I gained uh, seven so I was at 135, which I remember, and yeah, so I've gained weight, but I feel like I haven't stored any more fat, so it's probably actually muscle gain. That would be cool. Uh, that's 2.4 kilos, I think they said. They didn't measure me again. I guess they don't expect me to grow. Probably am not going to grow, but since I am no longer slouching as much, maybe I will appear taller. <laughs> then the endocrinologist said, uh, he only needs to see me again in six months. So before it was three, now he says see you in the summer. So um, I'm good until then, I have enough refills. And yeah, so that's cool. Uh, especially that I don't have to check back in with him this often. I, um, 
I do need to take my blood work every three months and I'm sure he'll call me if something's wrong. But there isn't anything wrong right now and let's hope that keeps on going. Fat distribution, I feel like my hips have faded and I have some slight uh, top ab muscle. Like right here, slightly defined. Uh, I still have my fat storage on my stomach, but I feel like also that hasn't gotten much bigger. And yeah, just shoulders and biceps feel broader. Um, I don't know what that... maybe. Uh, that's everything, so uh, thank you for watching and stay awesome. Bye!